4,096 4, byte sectors, 4K sectors. I'm going to try and tell a story here. Um, a month ago on DFIR Online, um, Kevin was talking about all sorts of stuff to do with hard drives. One of the topics that came up was the size that sectors are using in the newer hard drives. Um, shortly after that, Adam from Hexacorn um, posted a question on the Wind Forensics mailing list asking about drives that are actually using those 4096 byte sectors. Um, at that point, we had a fair bit of discussion going on. One suggestion was that Microsoft is not supporting them yet, so you should be seeing them, um, and that these things don't actually exist out in the wild. I had a quick look on my machine, and I've got a hard drive here using 4K sectors. Um, Adam has a hard drive as well using 4K sectors. And one of the other questions that came up on the mailing list was how are friendly tools actually going to handle this? Um, which is a pretty valid question. So I did a bit of exploration on my system. It turns out I actually have a, a RAID card in there, which I'd temporarily forgotten. Um, but when I went in and had a look at it, my RAID card actually lets me configure the sector size that it presents to the operating system. Um, that sector size can be anywhere from 512, 1024, up to 4096. It does give you a warning at the time that some operating systems may not support it. Obviously, when I configured it um, a year or so ago, I just went, yep, I want the biggest size possible. Big is good, right? Um, formatted the disk and it all worked. Um, so I did a little bit of testing, um, had a look at what's going on. Now, as you will all be aware, in the MBR on a disk, um, you have a petition table. And in the petition table, you've got a bunch of values. Looking through these values, there's nothing there. And if someone can, can confirm this for me, I haven't found, been able to find anything in the MBR that actually tells you how many bytes per sector. Um, and unless I'm doing, I don't know, major brain fart or something, um, I haven't been able to find anything in there. Basically, the references are all um, sector offsets and everything else, but there's nothing that actually tells you um, how many bytes per sector that are actually in the MBR. When we have a look at the um, boot parameter block um, on a Windows system, you start actually getting that information. Um, so in this case, we're having a look. What I ended up doing was wiping my RAID, which took us a little bit of time, um, reconfigured it, or zeroed out all the drives, set the bytes per sector to 4K, um, then re formatted in Windows, just created a straightforward TFS partition and then playing around. Loaded up in WinHex, um, and, and you can see here what I've got. So the bytes per sector, um, keeping in mind, little engine, you have to reverse the bytes there. Um, we get 1000 in hex, um, which is, is 4K, 4096 bytes per sector. Interesting thing here, sectors per cluster. Um, if you've ever gone through and had a look at this, this manually, you don't normally see um, a 0, 1 there, normally it would be 4. So even although the sectors are um, 4K, um, normally on a Windows system, sorry, not on a Windows system, it's the other day, um, normally the default sector size, sorry, default cluster size on NTFS is also 4K, so when you have a 4 4K sector, you end up with a cluster size that is also the same size. And the other thing that's of really significant interest to us is the number of clusters per file record segment. So the file record segment is the directory entry. It's the, the file information that you get within the NFT. That is normally um, 1,024 bytes. So on a normal 512 byte sector drive, which is most of the drives out there these days, um, that is, um, you end up with um, a 10, 1024 um, file record.
input segment. And it's important to realize at this point that value there is actually a signed number, um, the D word. So you'll actually normally see an F, I've got to remember what the value is, lose my head. Normally see, basically if you see a negative number there, so it'll be an F6, I think. AF6. Sorry, my conversion to negative hex is it's not that great. Um, normally you'll actually see a negative value there. When you see a negative value, it means that the size of the file record segment should be raised to the power of 2. Um, so in this case, we're actually getting a fixed value. We're saying one file record segment, segment takes up one cluster. So this means that our file record segments are 4K long, which means the MFT is going to be quite different to what you would normally see. Now, interestingly here, when you actually have a look at the MFT, I created a bunch of different size files to see what we would be getting um, as far as residency goes. I guess that's the right word to use. Whether we get resident files or non-resident files. And interestingly, 10 byte file is resident in MFT. You can actually see that here. Um, you can't see that here. You can see my mouse. We have here the sector offset for the MFT, um, sorry, cluster offset, effectively the same thing at this point. So the cluster offset, 786,432, the MFT keeps going. Our 10-byte text is resident at that location in the MFT. Our 1,000-byte text is resident at that location in the MFT. But our 2,000-byte file is not resident. So even although you've got that much extra space in the MFT to store the file, it's still actually being stored out on the disk. So that's a bit of, of weird behaviour um, from the file system drivers that doesn't really make sense to me. Um, hopefully someone else out there can, can figure it out and work out what's going on. Maybe Corey has an answer. So I've got the image. Um, it's actually the, the other painful side of it. Is that I've only got fairly large drives hanging around, so it's a two terabyte RAID um, that I had to acquire because it's mostly zero. It's only coming down to three gig. Um, open that image up in XWays. You see the drive, no problems. It identifies where everything is. If you load it into the SIFT, you can mount it. But when you run MMLS against it, it actually gives you the wrong offsets because that is still working on a 512 byte. When you load that image up in any case, it crashes. Um, it either, one time for me, it just totally crashed altogether. Another time it's just white screen and it stops responding. Um, FTK Imager does not see it as a valid file system. Um, so basically just sees it all as unallocated space when I pull out of the partition. And analog's MFT actually crashes when it's processing the MFT off that. So if you're out there and you find a disk where you can't identify the file system, um, but it, you see the normal um, MF, sorry, NTFS information that you would normally expect to see at the start of the file system, it is worthwhile checking that value there and that value there to work out if you're actually seeing a full case sector disk. Um, I will actually be posting that image up on Google Docs um, shortly. I was trying to do it before tonight, but I didn't have a chance. Um, but I'll be posting that up so people can download that and play around with it and test it with the other tools that are out there. Um, so at the moment, Adam from Hexacorn um, has a 3 terabyte Western Digital My Book Essentials and that is using your 4K sectors. Um, I'm using a high point rocket raid, which is also using the 4K sectors and that can actually do all sorts of, of weird stuff as well. Um, so something to watch out for. And that's it.
version of software are with the software I tested. Um, basic current version of everything. Um, NCASE was 6.18. X was... Oh, actually, I've still got the code. Here. XY is 16.1 um, SR3. Actually, I think that's a slightly older version. Um, I've said it before, I'm, I'm a big fan of XY's um, things. I wouldn't expect, um, I mean, I acquired the disk using FTK Imager. Um, it still sees the disk and, and reads from it without any problems. Um, well, most things do, provide they don't try and read the file system. I think the reason why things are running into trouble. It's not so much the 4K sectors. Um, they're just reading the, the, the data on the disk as a bunch of blocks. It's the whole um, 4K file record segment. Things actually going to read that MFT, they are starting to fail. Um, I don't have a... I don't have any hardware disk duplicators. And at the moment, the disks that you're dealing with, um, obviously, it's a RAID card. It's not a physical disk, um, so they're unlikely to be affected. Actually, the other thing I should also mention, I did a bit of research as far as I could on different drives out there um, and couldn't find any drives that are actually using these 4K sectors. All the drives, I mean, all you, all you gotta do is look at the number of sectors on the disk. If it's roughly double, um, the number of sectors on the disk is double the size, then you know it's about 12. If it's half the size, then they're 4K. So, Dan, yeah, on-site collection, everything else is probably not going to be an issue. For the analysis, go buy X-Ways. Um, I've said that before, and I'll keep saying it again. X-Ways is the tool that everyone should be using. X-Ways, X-Ways. Um, so, that's it for the night. Um, if anyone's got any questions, post them up. In the meantime, I will be getting this recording done as quickly as possible. Um, and I'll see you all later. Actually, one other thing. I'm going to see you, I see you next week. So if you see me, because I guess everyone here has now seen my face and knows what I look like, please feel free to come up and say good day. Um, all I see is a bunch of names. So, yeah, I've got no idea what you all look like other than the names on the screen for the most part. So, yeah, so if you're going to be CIC, please, if you see me wandering around or whatever, come up and say good day. <laughs> no worries, JJ. Actually, I'll start with um, training. Xbox actually put some stuff out on their website lately as far as training goes. Um, I mean, Stefan's written a fairly comprehensive manual that I guess is a little tough going to get through. Um, Brett Shavers has also written up a bit of stuff which is now on the Xbox website, um, xways.com, I guess. Um, but you can Google it. Um, one other thing, big thanks to, to Jesse again. Um, I'm going to be watching that talk again, definitely, to try and improve the way I do things. My introvert side needs um, readjusting after I've heard him to tell stories. Um, okay, so in terms of what I was able to do, um, so X-Ways mounts it, sees it without any problems. JJ with that in terms of mounting image. So in SIFT you can mount it, you know, use um, mount AWF to mount um, the NCASE image or expert, expert witness image, alpha mode, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then you can mount the MTFS partition and sees it. It works without any problems. Um, NCASE crashes. It actually crashes when it's, it gets the um, you get the message, little message down the bottom saying um, passing MFT or loading MFT, um, and at that point it, it crashes. It either widescreens or just crashes out altogether. Um, I put in a, a bug request 
um, with both access data and guidance. Um, I'll be giving them the, the image shortly. Um, and FTK Imager loads it up, sees it fine, but um, it doesn't actually see it as a valid file system. So you can't see any of the files on there. Uh, and I mean, analyze, I wouldn't expect, at this point in time, I, I wouldn't expect any MFT scripts to be able to identify it. If, if you look at the format of the MFT, there's nothing in the MFT to actually tell you what size um, the file record segments are. All that information is actually contained in the BPB, um, which if you grab the MFT, you don't actually collect. Um, so I would be kind of surprised if any MFT parsing scripts work um, with these MFTs. But I mean, you know, the guys that write them are all pretty cluey. I imagine they'll be fixing it pretty quickly. I mean, I've sent a copy of the MFT off to David Kova. Um, I'm pretty certain I sent one to Harlan. I'll double check that with him. Um, Mount Image Pro, I have not tested. Um, what I'll be doing, I'll be posting on my website um, that image. So if everyone wants to, to test it, I'll put something out, um, mail to list or something once I get that up. Um, but if you watch my blog, I'll be posting that either this evening or tomorrow. Um, and if you can test it, and I mean, provide feedback, let everyone else know what's happening with this. Um, XYs have a home plate for Yeah, X XYs does a recursive file listing, Corey. 